Good morning, good morning, good morning. It is Wednesday. Put the lights on so you can see me a bit better. It's Wednesday morning. It's not quite... Whose breastplate's that? Because that is not where it is. It must be Dan's. Um, not quite eight o'clock yet. Um, it's going to be a busy... Busy, busy day. Um, I have the chiropractor coming this morning at quarter past eight for Romeo and ID. And then the farrier's coming um, after that about half ten um, to put Romeo's shoes on for Victon. Um, and I need to get a spare pair of shoes um, off him to keep on the lorry. Yeah, and then tonight um, Cecily's coming out of London for a midweek lesson, so I get to see little Munchkin tonight. And the Bicton prep continues. Had a hay, not a hay, a feed order yesterday, so I've got about 20 bags of feed to sort out as well. Um, but first things first, um, I'm going to quickly pull the beds down. Um, there's Nitzel doing his morning checks and um, go and grab some ponies in. Yay! It's chucking it down just as I start walking to the fields. It starts chucking it down. I don't even have a coat with me. I really need to get on top of it and be a bit more prepared. Okay, I'm gonna have to put the camera away. I'm getting absolutely soaked. Yay! Can you see how wet my hair is? It was dry about two minutes ago before I got hold of these ponies. And now I am soaked through. Yay for winter! It's a no from me to this. Yay, I'm soaked. I am being completely honest. I am leaving ID, Benson and Dan out there until this hopefully stops. Um, Romeo can go first for his appointment. And I did find a coat. Thank you, Eliza. I believe this is your coat. Thank you for leaving it at the yard. Um, very much appreciated. Heidi has just had the chiropractor. He's very chilled out now. Um, she was really happy with him, really pleased with how he's putting on weight and muscle. Um, but he is just a bit tight across his back and on his right hand side, he's licking my hand, which um, actually corresponds with um, me struggling to get the right, not the right lead leg, but the right. So he gets the correct lead leg on the left rein, but he doesn't on the right rein. He really struggles with that. So he, that corresponds with him being really tight across the right side of his body. So um, I just need to start doing some, yeah, some carrot stretches. Um, and then in his ridden work, um, lots of leg yield, um, mainly in walk and then spiraling leg yield on a circle, um, all that kind of stuff just to get him moving through his rib cage. Um, and Romeo also had the chiropractor. Um, he was a good boy. That's all done. We got hay in your mane. Um, so I'm just waiting for Farrier now. The Farrier's coming next. I do need to crack on and move some of the feed order. So I might do that now. Um, and then Idy's got the day off today. Oh, you're sleepy. Such a good boy. So I need to sort all of this. These all actually just stack in the corner in here. And then um, we've got Relieve and Balancer and I'll just top up our bins. And then the ones that don't go in the bins go in um, storage boxes in the yard so that the rats don't eat them, rats or mice. Otherwise they chew through the bag and eat them because they taste good, whereas they're not interested in the alfre. lunchtime and 
you can tell that I got caught in the rain this morning, can't you? Um, it's actually still wet. I've just taken it out to try and dry it. Um, I'm making my go-to for lunch, um, which is chicken dipper wraps. You can't beat a chicken dipper wrap. Literally just do my chicken dippers in the air fryer. Wraps, lettuce, cheese, mayonnaise, simple, super quick. And then I think I've got an hour now where I can sit down and crack on. I need to do um, the plan for November and December. So the horses work schedules and the girls competition plans. And I also need to type up all my notes for Victon and type up a list, a packing list. Um, just an initial list and then I can add to it as I think of things and Elijah and I can go over it and check to see if I've missed anything this weekend because it's the last weekend um, before Bicton and then she'll go to school and I'll meet her um, on the way to Bicton. Uh, update. Today is not going well. It's not going well at all. I... <sighs> I don't even know where to start and feel really stressed out over something so silly but it's funny how um the little things become big things so tonight's obviously um Cecily's lesson I'm taking the pony to meet her hitched up to our trailer opened the top door and the handle disintegrated in my hand and it's stuck jammed open so obviously you can't drive a horse in there and it's all in your bed you can't drive a horse in there with the top door open because all the stuff will fly in and go in their eyes. Um, it's not like it's jammed shut, which is fine because then I could just reverse Bobby out. I mean, he'd be quite difficult, but I can't do that. So then I was like, oh, I know, I'll borrow um, our liveries trailer. So I gave her a call, fine, hitched up and then went to plug the electrics in but the socket is different. So this old Defender has, I don't know, like an 11 pin socket and the trailers have 14 pin. I don't know, I'm making these numbers up on the top of my head. Schnitzel, stop playing with your bone, dropping it everywhere. So I can't take the new, can't take my liveries trailer because I'll have no lights. Um, very dangerous, also it's winter, it'll be dark when I'm driving home, can't not have lights can't take the lorry because that's still broken that has no engine oil in it so if i drive that that potentially will seize up um yeah <laughs> pretty much probably the worst moment of my of this job that's a bit of an exaggeration no it, it's horrendous because i really I ju it's just frustrating it's all out of my control and we have all this fleet here and it's all broken at once um, obviously we are getting a new lorry tomorrow, but that's tomorrow, so that's no help. Um, I'm waiting for someone to come and recover the four and a half ton lorry because um, we can't drive it. Schnitzel, will you stop? Oh, you dropped your bone down the gap. Um, so yeah, I think what's going to happen is, um, thankfully my boss is in the Cotswolds today with our new Defender and we're going to take that and then drop Cecily, pick Cecily, all sorts up. But it's just annoying because um, I like to do my job so that I don't cause the family any extra stress. And I've tried everything. I, I even took, we have a trailer man just down the road. I even took it down there and he doesn't have the part. I've literally tried everything and I have now 40 minutes until we've got to leave. So I can't even take it to another place to get it fixed. Yeah, just makes me feel a bit... I know, I know rationally it's really stupid and this is like the first world problems, but I don't like being bad at my job. I'm not, I'm not bad, I'm not being bad at my job, but I feel like I am, I feel like I'm letting people down because I like to sort all this crap out, but I tried everything. Um, yeah, anyway, come on, Catherine, it is what it is. We've got a plan. It might not be the best plan, um, but it's a plan at least. I've email email to have rung my trailer man who's going to get the part in for the other for the trailer I'm getting a new lorry tomorrow where's my dog doing it's going to be fine i'm going to go and feed turn out the horses that can be turned out crack on get bobby ready um and then be ready to go when my boss gets here so we can hitch up and hit the road yeah bit of a meh wednesday i'll be honest oh my god the things you can do with a pair of scissors. I've fixed it. I feel like I've saved the day. 
I'm doing a 180 on this vlog. It's tracking it down with rain. I don't care. So this, that was jammed open on that, but I used my scissors to take the screws out. I mean, I've sliced up my hand doing it, but who cares about that? And then I managed to just about get it in there to open it and jam it on there. So it's now firmly on there, meaning that's closed. It's not going to fly open while I'm driving. Um, Bobby will be nice and safe. And then when we get to the other end, we'll just have to push him out backwards. Um, he'll like reverse out. Some trailers um, unload like that anyway. Um, so yeah, right now I really do need to crack on because I'm really running late, but I feel much better. Um, I, have to, I like to sort these things myself. Um, yeah, right, I'm going to hitch up now and try again. Somehow... I have made it to Ern and Katie, our trainers, on time, before Cecily. Yeah, I don't know how, anyway, uh, there's no one here. Well, they are here, I don't know where they are, but I'm just helping myself to their biscuit tin. Um, let's all get out of their bin. Let's all in their bin. I'm having a bourbon. And uh, yeah, I'm about ready for today to be over, but you know, it's fine, it's fine. We all have rubbish days. It will be a new day tomorrow and it will be good. I've got a bourbon, I'm on time, it's fine. Yeah, that was good. Best um, boyfriend of the year award waiting for me, helping me finish the yard off. When do I get the prize? Pardon? When do I get the prize? I'm treating you to takeaway. Oh, yeah. Good boy, Bobina. It is 20 past seven. We have just got back to the yard. Edward is very kindly helping me finish it off. Um, I've got to put Bobby in the field and then I've got Benson and Dan staying in tonight. And so I've got to, I've done Benson's stables. He just needs to be skipped out. I need to do Dan's stable, give him some more shavings. Um, and I need to leave the yard done because tomorrow morning I have to go early to pick up the lorry. Um, so yeah, I've got a couple of stables to do. Put Bobby in the field. Um, yeah, probably, I mean, if Edward wasn't here, a good hour's worth of work, but I have the best boyfriend in the world, and Bobby is definitely going out on his hood tonight, because it is chucking it down. Good morning, it doesn't even feel like I went home last night. It's Thursday, I've got my coat today, because it's still raining. Um, I am the worst horse mum in the world, because... Um, I left all of them out last night except Benson and Dan. To be fair, I didn't think it was going to rain that much. I'm trying to keep them out at night as long as possible. I was hoping to keep them out until the clocks change. And then we have just suddenly had um, a ton of rain last night. Hey, Dan. This is Dan. He's um, Livy's pony. Uh, Livy, who was in the vlog last week, Cecily's little friend. This is Daniel. Um... So yeah, I'm probably going to have a lot of very soggy horses to get in. But I'm very quickly going to muck these two out and then get everyone in because in an hour we're leaving to go down to Surrey um, to pick up the lorry. So excited. It's going to be so nice. I'm really worried though because we have quite a narrow windy drive. You can get a seven and a half tonne down it because the people that we share the yard with have two. But obviously I'm not used to the width and dimensions of our new lorry and I don't want to be the one to scratch it on the wall or take the wall out coming down the drive. I'm sure it'll be fine, but you know when you get these little things in your head that you stress about. I was laying in bed thinking about that last night. I literally got home at eight. Edward and I had fish and chips in the shop and I think we were in bed by half nine. I didn't do anything else. Yeah, but today, today is a good day. It's a new day. I'm not gonna cry over a trailer door handle today. I left everything. Edward helped me get the yard done last night. So everything is spot on, ready to get everyone in. I'm gonna start and have a good day. And I have nothing going on late tonight. So I'm determined to be off this yard on time and home to chill and do some washing. <laughs> Yay for winter. I do have a top on under here. It just looks like I don't. Amy, soggy Catherine, muddy Ivy, and a lot of puddles. First drive in the lorry. So nervous, but so excited. And we made it home. Here she is. Very, very 
very lucky to drive this lorry for work. Um, I was so nervous, but I got it down the drive. Um, yeah, I just now need to figure out, I'm just gonna figure out where to park it because it needs to be plugged in to the to the mains is what Oakley have just told me. Um, so yeah, I just need to have a think about where she's going to live, plug her in. But first things first, I'm just going to run onto the yard, check everyone's okay, put some more hay on the hay steamer and then go home and have lunch and let the dog out because my dog's been on his own all morning and he's not used to that. So, yes. This is what Edward thinks about the vlog. Oh my goodness, Idy, why are you so dirty? Look at the other side of him. What are we doing, Edward? Edward's gonna ride Romeo and we're going hacking. Romeo's like, what are you doing? Heidi's ignoring you. We're gonna go hacking. Edward. Edward just said he was ready to go eventing. He's got my eventing hat silk on. He's on the novice event horse. <laughs> and I'm on ID long legs. Big eyeballs. <laughs> ID is such a good boy. We're just coming past one of the pheasant pens. Edward, stop making pheasant noises. And there was a, a turkey, a giant American turkey, up 20 guinea fowl. God knows how many pheasants. And ID is just, you know, dealing with it. I mean, he's having a little look, but he's not being naughty or anything. He's being a very good boy. I'm not sure there's any better way to, um, Romeo's about to sit on us. Put your leg on, Edward. There you go. Heidi's not bothered. Romeo's a bit more pathetic. Go on the other side, Edward. Go on the right. There we go. Good boy, Heidi. <laughs> good boy. Edward, you're actually really good, like, a hacker. Yeah, you make him get on with it. It's really good for him. He's not allowed to be stupid. <laughs> like it <laughs> who remembers cheery Catherine this morning saying she'd be done by six o'clock tonight yeah that hasn't happened it really does happen to be honest with you you just get used to it it's fine it's part of the job um i'm just turning out bobby and jess i've bitten the bullet everyone else is staying in they don't want to go out um these two are the only two um, which like being out in the field. So they're gonna go out tonight. It's gonna be rain again all night. So Bobby's in his hood and everything. And then, yeah, Nitzel, watch how you're gonna get run over. There we go. Um, yeah, that's it. I think everyone else is gonna be in for the night from now on. And I'll keep these two out as long as I can. And then, yeah, um, we'll go from there. I've got a few more stables to do, fees to make for the morning. I reckon I can be finished by seven, which actually isn't too bad. Um, we've got a lot done today, we've got a new lorry, it's all hooked up, so yeah. I've made it, I'm done. I'm just gonna give everyone who's in a little treat before I go home. Oh, Heidi, do you want a snack? Want a snack? ID done. Romeo won't be so gentle, I can assure you of that. Romeo. Yoo-hoo. Yes. Yep. Nearly took me fingers off. Um, I just need to pick this up as well before I forget. I'm taking this home to wash. And then little Benson. I do have to admit, it makes me very happy having them all in nice shavings beds. Benson. Snack. Snack. Not my... Gone on right i'm going home now i'm gonna try really hard to not do any work tonight but i've got a lot of admin to do so it might be that when i sit down in front of the tv i end up doing that but a good day in the office i need to switch the lights off take the dog and get home good morning it is friday the 13th gonna be a good day <laughs> how many days this week have i been saying it's gonna be a good day oh i look tired as well um i've literally just got up um i've had some porridge ready breakfast because i don't like um lumps 
I've got my coffee. I've left the dog at home this morning because the weather is disgusting. It's rained all night and then it's really windy. So I've left him at home. My plan is I'm gonna go and whiz through yards. I'm gonna chuck everything out that was in last night, bring in Bobby and Jess, and then hopefully be home. It's time quarter to eight now. If I get there for eight, it might take me two and a bit hours to do that, I reckon. Just do the basic yards get home for half 10 and then I want to get a good solid few hours of admin done before I need to go back to the yard um, for about two o'clock because that is when the man is coming to fix the trailer that broke yay and then I will potentially just stay there I reckon he's coming about two ish so I reckon I'll then just stay there the whole way through until I get home tonight. Friday night's always a late one because there are Friday night lessons. Um, so yeah, the weather's gonna be delightful today, but it is what it is. Let's go and feed some horses, turn them out, muck out some stables. I'm actually, it's weird because it's the first day, obviously they've been in overnight. And I love it when you change to the winter routine. There's something that makes me really satisfied about having all the horses tucked up in fresh beds in their rugs and then mucking them out in the morning. I don't know. That's why I'm a groom, I guess, because I enjoy these little things. And yeah, right, let's go. Friday the 13th, please be good to me. Bobby does the same thing every morning. Morning, I can't get my words out. He reverses into this corner, we call it his sleeping corner, and he will stand there for probably the next few hours and sleep. Um, I'm just leaving his rug and his hood on while I do the yard, um, so they're a bit damp, so his body warmth will dry them out, and then I'll take them off before I go home to do all my paperwork. Um, is this a part of the vlog where I say how much I love my job? Because I'm about to go out in the absolute torrential rain, dug out some waterproofs. Bobby's laughing like, ah, I'm all clean. And I'll show you what I'm about to go out in to get the horses in. It's actually stopped a bit now. It was worse than this. So I'm going to hurry up and get gone before it hammers it down again. Wish me luck. For reference, this is how much water we've had. Water, how much rain. And Romeo has somehow, ah, it's only been all over in the puddle. <laughs> Romeo has somehow got his hood half off, um, which is also very much less than ideal. Um, oh my goodness. It's all a bit topsy turvy. Come on, Romeo, let's get you in dried. For reference, this is what I look like an egg. This is Catherine in her natural habitat. pouring rain looking like a nice little egg. I don't think anyone's particularly happy about this situation. <laughs> you know that winter is here when your windscreen looks like this. It's not properly frozen but it's not far off. Oh and you like my little sausage dog air freshener. Hi. Oh good morning. It is really really cold really cold it's Saturday I can't remember what I filmed yesterday what did I film I think I filmed me in the rain uh, yeah yesterday was a really really good day because I managed to get to my laptop for a good four hours and I did um, I ordered a load of stuff for the new lorry I then did the um, horses exercise plan and the girls competition plan up until Christmas um, that takes ages because annoyingly um, all the horse competitions aren't on one website you have to look across every single website and I do now know all the venues um, that we go to so I can go on their websites and then I go on BD, BSJA, horse events and then yeah just look at all the individual websites as well just to make sure uh, that I haven't missed anything that's all done I'll look over it again at some point before I share it with um, my boss and we'll go through it and see if she's happy and then I'll start booking the entries and things so I did that well, what else did I do I went to the tip oh glamorous life I went to the tip um, I took I filled the back of this defender up with all the yard rubbish 
and took that to the tip. Um, the tip is weird. Every time I go there, bear in mind it was raining. You saw the weather yesterday. The guy, the men that work there always wear black sunglasses and I feel like they're like the men in black people. Every time I go there, I think it. I'm sorry if you work at a tip and you wear, then maybe there's a reason you wear those glasses, but you always remind me of men in black. And then, oh, I stopped at the, um, uh, blah, 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 the feed shop and I picked up some haylage to take to Bicton next week for Romeo because our supplier only does big bales, which obviously we can't take. And then again, I got some more stuff for the lorry. I got um, a water canister because one of ours has split to replace that, a broom, um, a fork to live in the lorry. I got a lorry grooming kit. I can't remember what else I got. I got a lot of stuff, basically. That was that. And then we had lessons last night. Um, Hats off to Cecily for riding in that rain because it was grim. And then it is now Saturday. Um, and we are going show jumping today. We are just taking Bobby. Um, quite nice times. We haven't got to leave until quarter to 11. I was just looking at the clock. I'm just letting the car warm up because um, it's quite cold this morning. And I'm quite happy. I'm a little bit later this morning, but um, I didn't leave the yard until nearly eight o'clock. So um, that's fine. The horses haven't been left that long overnight. Um, what was I saying? Yeah, we're going show jumping. We're taking Bobby in the new lorry. And then there are less, late lessons again tonight, um, which is a little bit unfortunate because then tomorrow we're going to Broadway and we have to leave at half six in the morning. So, yeah, I'm at the point where I'm like, maybe I'll just sleep in the lorry. I won't, obviously, but... <laughs> um, yeah, is what it is. Sometimes that's just how... Um, how the cookie crumbles <laughs> um i'm waffling i'm gonna go now go and feed some horses bath bobby um i'm not allowed to pack the lorry because cecily wants to pack it for the first time with her stuff so happy days but yeah let's go feed some ponies bath a gray pony which will be joyous i'm sure and go and do another day I need to get a coffee when I get to the yard because I did not sleep well. Good boy. Let's get a head collar. Last but not least to the field, ID long legs. Um, oh, ID's share is coming today for the first time. So, oh, goodness me. Um, yeah, she's gonna ride him both days this weekend. ID. Is there something in the back of your throat? Go on, get it up. Do you stop now? You're chewing it and eating it, yummy. Um, yeah, she's riding. <laughs> Idy, it's my part of the vlog where I talk, not you. Um, she's riding him both days this weekend. <sighs> Which is good, because obviously, ah, I nearly fell over. Um, I certainly would not have the time. Bobby, what do you think of the new lorry? How was your journey? Oh, I don't know if he's too impressed. Yeah. <laughs> time is it, Cecily? Rescue remedy time. Here we go then. Hang on, I can't even get the lid off. You yeah, need some. Ready? We both need some. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. 
Bitzel's ready for winter. He's got his um, jacket and his light up coat on. He's going to wee on the wall. Thanks, Bitzel. That's what everyone wanted to see. He's got his fleece on and his light up collar. Good morning. I don't know what the time is. Some, six something. And Seth and I are off to Broadway today to go to a hunter trial. And I thought I'd be clever yesterday and I left some milk on the yard to make me a coffee and I left our little fridge running overnight and I've just gone to make my morning coffee oh tiny drip came out that's all I've got it's frozen solid no coffee for Catherine today checking oh, tap. Oh yeah, I got it, I got it. It's all here. Hungry ponies. <laughs> 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 Cecily, do you want to tell the vlog how you did? Hey guys. So make sure to subscribe. No, but tell them how you clear. <laughs> That's why you need to tell, oh my god. Um, so she had a clear on Benson in the 70 and then she had a clear on Bobby in the 80 and that's Cecily's first 80 on Bobby and there was quite a few combinations wasn't there there was a ditch to a log um, a step up to a log jump before the water which you've been having issues with haven't you Seth yeah I don't like that and he went over every single one the first time so um it has been a very good morning in the office. I don't know if you can see me. We got here at half seven and it's now half ten and we're done. So we're going to go home in a minute. Yay! Yay! Good afternoon. Um, I'm doing the diary, but today's diary location is on top of the bin. Oh, so glamorous. Um, I'm not sure what I have actually filmed this weekend. It's been a little bit crazy. Um... It's hard to vlog when I'm at competitions. So obviously my sole priority is sporting the girls. Um, so there hasn't been much vlogging, but we've had a really, really good weekend. Um, we did the show jumping yesterday and then we had two at the Hunter trial this morning, which was great fun. It's now Sunday afternoon and I've got a lovely chilled Sunday afternoon. Eliza is just jumping Romeo now, her final jump tune up before we go to Bicton on Thursday. And I'm just going to do the yard and then start to organise a few bits to take. Um, and that will basically be today. Um, so super duper chilled out. But I think I'll probably end this vlog at some point. Do I want to end it here? Is anything else exciting going to happen today? I don't think so. I'm going to end the vlog here. Because um, I'm actually having a non-horsey day tomorrow. So there'll be nothing to vlog tomorrow, which is Monday. So it's my day off. Um, and then, oh, the water's overflowing, hang on. Right, I'm back, I can't remember what I was saying. Uh, I was saying I was gonna end the vlog because I'm not gonna ride tomorrow, I'm not coming to the yard at all, and then I think the next vlog will basically be a Bicton vlog um, from a groom's point of view, because obviously I'm not riding, and I'm gonna go through as well um, packing the lorry, because at the moment we've got our new lorry, but it's completely empty, so I need to pack that, um, and some of that, what we put in for Bicton, will just live in the lorry from then on. So I think um, in the next video that you'll see, it will be us at Bicton, and then I'll go through in the run-up, like the last few days, everything that I'm doing with Romeo, and all the stuff that I'm putting in the lorry. So hopefully that will be, interesting to someone but i'm probably going to wrap this vlog up here because there's going to be nothing else exciting except me poo picking and making hay nets and bringing the horses in hopefully going home um to have a fire and cuddle my sausage dog but i hope you've enjoyed this vlog this one definitely feels like a bit of a weird one but i i yeah i'm enjoying vlogging again and next week's vlog will be super exciting so i will see you next week post bigton bye guys